Hey everyone, welcome back for a brand new video about our favorite show that's giving us two seasons in the same year, Cobra Kai. Warning, beyond this point there are spoilers for people who are not up to date on the Cobra Kai television series along with the Karate Kid films. In this video we're going to give you our binge breakdown of the very first teaser trailer that was released to promote Cobra Kai season 4. We're going to cover everything we know about the upcoming season and its release date. We're going to announce the winner to our last contest for this Ralph Macchio Autographs Karate Kid headband and talk about our future contests. Finally, we're going to give you our theory on how the All-Valley Tournament is going to play out, and it's not going to be how you think. Before we get into the video, we just wanted to thank all of our Cobra Kai fans for tuning in after such a long break. We are a little different from other channels as we only make videos when new content comes out. We don't cover blurry photos from production sets or do videos speculating on just a few words in an image. We focus on real content. That means in between seasons we don't put out new material unless something earth shattering happens. But it also means that you know when you come to Binge Rampage you will be getting quality breakdowns on brand new content. As Cobra Kai ramps up its promotional phase for season 4, we're really happy to be here and cover every teaser, promo photo, sneak peek, and any other random social media promo that's out there and share it with all of you. Because you help make each video get better and better with your input, support, and feedback. So sincerely, thanks again. Now let's get to that Binge Breakdown. The teaser opens up with some stylish promo shots in a blank industrial looking backdrop which seems like it's green screened in. The first shot appears to be Sam strutting towards the camera and then we get some Rambo style close ups of a gi belt being tightened and who appears to be Daniel getting ready for a bow. The next shot shows us Johnny and his tough guy silhouette as he kind of clenches his fist. After that is another close-up of what looks like Sam's hands, and then we get the best shot of Dimitri ever. He actually looks semi-tough, for Dimitri at least. His ego is going to be out of control with his new girlfriend. Following a fade to black, the teaser cuts to the fabled crane kick flashback shot before showing us what is obviously an All-Valley Tournament graphic logo, probably from the TV coverage of the event, because karate tournaments always have TV coverage, right? Next up is Miguel, back with a vengeance, looking like a character from Street Fighter. We cannot wait to see the not-so-young-anymore Mr. Diaz back in action. The trailer then cuts to another Dimitri hero shot, only this time he's doing duck lips like it's selfie time. Following that moment, we get the torso shot we never knew we needed of Hawk and his Reaper tattoo. After that, the trailer cuts to Robbie, and he's actually looking pretty tough. He's taken his knowledge of Miyagi-Do to the dark side of the Force. We have to admit he's kind of badass in his Cobra Kai gi, and we can't help but noticing someone cast a new sidekick for Robbie. His hair which might take third place in the tournament. Miguel is up next in his black gi, which must be Eagle Fang's tournament color, unless his promo doesn't really care who wears what in the series. The Miguel and Robbie rematch is going to be epic. After that, we get a sequence of Sam doing some kicks and punches, and then Johnny doing his best constipated face during a punch. The next shot gives us Daniel getting ready to counterattack, and then the very reptilian looking crease with his evil smile. Only Martin Cove could make such a ridiculous character actually believable, but he does. Following that moment, we get a shot of Tori looking ready for revenge after her beating in the Season 3 finale. How will she cheat this time in this tournament? The trailer then cuts to Miggy flexing pretty hard and then to Robbie doing his own low-key flexing as he walks towards the camera. These promos were super exciting but didn't actually tell us anything about the season at all. The very last shot of this portion of the teaser is Hawk showing us his war face. What if he has to fight Dimitri in the tournament? We'll cover that more later. After a cut to black, the trailer cuts back into actual footage from season 4. In a shot of who appears to be Daryl from the All Valley Committee and those blue mats that he loves so much. I say we go blue mats, gold fists. Gold fists. Gold, gold fists. <laughs> it looks like the LaRusso and Diaz family are sitting together up here, which tells us the truce between Johnny and Daniel should last at least until the tournament. Although you know these guys are going to be messing with each other every chance they get. Hayden Schlossberg actually referred to their relationship as the Ross and Rachel of the series. Can you say bromance? The trailer then cuts to the Cobra Kai dojo where Robbie and Tori are doing some training. We all know how this situation is going to end up. 
After that, we get a bird's eye view inside Cobra Kai in some sort of group fight. Is this Kreese's version of a Royal Rumble? Or has Miguel shown up to challenge them? As the three dojos have a truce until the tournament, we believe it's a training exercise, but anything is possible. The next shot is more training, which is a common theme here in this teaser. Daniel and Miguel are having some one-on-one -on -one time, and we can't help but noticing that Miguel is learning Miyagi-Do and combining his knowledge of Cobra Kai, and Robbie is doing the same thing in reverse. It tells us these characters have to be headed for a showdown. The trailer then cuts to a fun moment as Daniel is genuinely smiling as he gives Johnny a fist bump. Sweet, bro. Johnny uses that sweet fist karma in the following shot on a cinder block as he rocks out. He's most likely listening to some more D. Snyder. The next shot is kind of crazy as some girl, possibly Sam, or this newcomer character, Devin, jumps from one building to the other and doesn't seem to have the actual trajectory to make it across. We're thinking this has to be a dream sequence as Cobra Kai has already covered the whole fall and injury storyline pretty thoroughly. Sorry, Miguel. The final new shot from season four is the man, the myth, the ponytail, Terry Silver who has already been teased in his own promo spot released earlier this year. Extreme situations require extreme measures. On the Shay Anything podcast, Cobra Kai creator John Hurwitz let us know about how big of a role Silver will play in season four. He said, he's a huge part of season four. We dig deep on him. You'll get to know more about the character and what makes him tick. We can't wait to see how Silver went from scrawny soldier to super rich villain and how he's going to influence this new generation of Cobra Kai. Will Barnes be returning? If so, could he come back to help Daniel and Johnny and be on some sort of redemption arc like Chosen in Season 3? We think it's entirely possible and that that spoiler may be kept secret until right before the show will air if that's the case. What do you think? Could Barnes return? After a Season 4 title card, we get a great line from Season 3 between Amanda and Allie making fun of the guys and their obsession with karate before we get what was arguably the best surprise of this teaser, a release month. That's right everyone, December 2021. 2021 gives us two seasons of Cobra Kai in one year. Life is good, people. As far as the date, we are heavily leaning towards December 19th, the date of the original All-Valley Tournament, or Christmas Eve slash Christmas Day as a gift to all of us fans. As The Witcher Season 2 comes out Friday the 17th, we doubt that it's that day, but it could end up being the beginning of the month or even on New Year's Eve. We've got our fingers crossed for December 1st, but it's probably going to be later. As far as episode titles, we were given this gem for the season premiere, but the other ones are still TBA. As far as casting, a lot of people want to know about Aisha and if she'll be back, and it's really hard to say. A few actors and one of the executives have all commented that it's possible during interviews in the last year and a half, but nobody has seen her on set and nobody has heard any rumors of her being on set. As filming took place this last January to April, the time for her to have been spotted on the set has come and gone, so now we'll just have to wait to find out and see. Another fan favorite absent from season three was Stingray, and a piece of evidence has surfaced that could point to the return of the Ray. On IMDb, if you look through each episode of season four, you will find some interesting but questionable details. Episodes one, two, and 10 all say Allie will be in them. Episode five has Daniel's old flame from Okinawa on the list. It's possible that these are all accurate. But as IMDb can be updated by just about anyone with an IMDb account and then remain on the site until they're flagged for removal, chances are this is just someone memeing on us. The interesting detail is that scanning through each episode, we notice no Stingray, but in episode 8, a guy named AJ Gagliardi is listed as the stunt double for Paul Walter Hauser, aka Stingray. This guy is only listed for this episode, which is weird. If someone was going to try to convince us that Stingray was returning, why wouldn't they put him in the actual cast list? The Red Team just won! <laughs> is it possible this stunt double added himself into the credits not realizing it was a spoiler? We really hope so, as we need some more Stingray in our lives this season. Aside from a few courtesy social media photos, we haven't been given any proper set photos from the actual season, but we believe that once the trailers start dropping, so will those pictures and spoilers. One of the show's creators, Josh Heald, said in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter that they've never been prouder of a season. And that gets us really excited and makes us wonder how can Cobra Kai top what they've done so far? Will the show just get too insane with karate action and jump the shark? Not likely. 
Hield also stated that the show will focus a lot on Daniel and Johnny's relationship and their growth, but hopefully we still get a good amount of arguing and ball busting. <laughs> Johnny, what the hell? As far as when the actual trailer will drop, we believe not until October or even November. There have been some cryptic social media posts that seem to indicate possibly September, but we're not even trying to decipher those. We're basing our assumption off of last year and the fact that the official trailer dropped less than a month before the season aired. We hope we're wrong, but we want to be prepared for the worst case scenario. We do believe a more significant teaser trailer will drop in September and we will be there to break it down when it does. Next, we want to talk about the winner of our contest for this kick-ass Karate Kid headband. We want to thank everyone that entered and congratulate YouTuber Victor Garcia for winning the big prize. Thanks for watching and supporting our channel, Victor. Thank you so much, Bean Rampage. A big shout out to you. We will have new prizes available for Cobra Kai Season 4 starting with the first official trailer, so make sure you're subscribed and tuned in so you can get some chances to win. Finally, let's talk about how we think the All-Valley Tournament is going to stack up. First off, we don't think it's going to be Robbie and Miguel in the finals, but they will face off probably in the semifinals and possibly injure each other or in some way knock each other out of the tournament. We believe Kyler will face off against Hawk and win by some kind of cheating and then face off against Dimitri who will beat him. We think Nathaniel and Burt will get their rematch but on friendlier terms this time and we kind of got to give that one to Burt. He wants it more. Our theory is that ultimately it will end up being Sam and Tori in the finals and that their match will somehow tease and set up Julie, the next Karate Kid in season five, a possibility which the creators have acknowledged multiple times. In an interview with Deadline, John Hurwitz said, Sam and Tori are two of our favorite characters in the series. He would later go on to say, it's a very special season for both those characters. What could make it special? Another random fight in their long list of fights? Or meeting in the tournament championship fight? What do you think? Will Eagle Fang and Miyagi-Do be able to take down Kreese and Silver? Let's begin! Or will Cobra Kai rule the dojo world with Iron Fangs? Either way, one thing's for sure. If Miguel dies or even gets hurt a little bit again, we riot. Thanks so much for watching our videos, everyone. As always, we're on the lookout for any new promo material or insider information to help prove or disprove all the rumors out there about our favorite show where a karate tournament in December is like the NBA Finals, Cobra Kai. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Binge Rampage. Click the notifications bell for our channel so you can see our next video as soon as it comes out. And don't forget to subscribe. Remember Caddyshack? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you remember the gopher? He used to dance the... Or <laughs> whatever the noise was. And my question is, is that a real gopher that they got to do that? Or is that like something they did with that? Listen, guy, I don't know. I was partying with babes back then.